Buongiorno a tutti ragazzi, ovviamente il mio nome è Deucci e vi do il benvenuto a questo nuovo, par- a questo nuovo episodio, nuova parte del terzo episodio di The Wolf Among Us, intitolato A Crooked Mile. Bene, non voglio indugiare in nessun caso, quindi perché no ragazzi, siete pronti a cominciare? E direi di sì. Eccoci qui. Si comincia. Siamo nell'ufficio del governo di Fable Town. Non potrei essere che potrei prendere il buckshot, ma c'è ancora alcuni shards rimasti imbedditi nella tua schiena. Si può eventualmente warmare il loro modo su loro, ma fino a che lo fanno, sarai sore. Bigby, il dottor Swinehart è stato il Fable Town Physician per una ragione. È ok. C'è solo una cosa che devi prendere da tutto questo. Prendi il facile. Non vado a cercare per altri combattimenti. Prendi il strain off your heart. Chiediamo a Snow con Try and get some rest. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Mm. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a Quindi dose of juniper and spring water. Bene, okay. Just remember what I said. The stitches sua. won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. <laughs> I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. Kia, kia, kia. The town is starting to find out. Well, oh. I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Dr. Swinehart. Ci vediamo, caro. Okay, forse è che ci so, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go out. We know this, <laughs> Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Ah, okay. So, I Quindi, guess that's the plan. But uh, I, I don't know. Diciamo che Crane se ne sta andando. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. Mm. What the hell is going on? Anche lei potrebbe aver ragione. Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Sì, do you really think Crane did it? Tutto quanto. Everything points to him. I get it, but... Do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. Just doesn't make sense. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Grande Bovkin. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm mm. glad you were there. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. We'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. Almeno abbiamo l'approvazione di Snow, dai. Non abbiamo creato nessun grosso casino. Can I ask you a question? Okay. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's bene, on my mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, mm. it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. Casa. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it. E a me piace come se fosse di nuovo a casa quando io ero un lupo. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, guys? We have a problem. Mm, What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing ecco. a piece. Ah, indovina chi l'ha preso. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, 
It's not here. It's not here. Crane Bobby. must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Right. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Okay. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What okay. exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Huh, okay. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. Okay. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart Probably. enough to take a piece of the mirror. Mm -hmm. We can still solve this it's ourselves. I know never mind it. that. Come help me look. Va bene. Intanto andiamo a vedere. Diamo un'occhiata alle sue cose. Povero Buffkin, non è stato colpito questa volta. Andiamo a chiedere a lui prima. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get uh -huh. to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it Ma sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Okay. Grazie, Buffkin. Uh... You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Magari qualcosa su cui non ha... Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do? Yank on his hair? I'm only <laughs> three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. Grazie, you Bucky. do that. Grandissimo. Lui è veramente il numero uno. Allora, vediamo un po'. Cosa c'è qui? Ok. Un tavolo di crane. Che sta andando? Ah, ok. Allora. Vediamo cosa c'è. Ecco. La 207. It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. Uh, a lot of blood and flowers. Yes. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Hmm. <sighs> we'll Don't get him. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Lo prenderemo, Snow. Non ti preoccupare. Come on, let's keep looking. Esatto. Bravo, oh, bravo. Allora, questo cos'è? Una lettera. Ci sono tre lettere sul tavolo. Ichabod Crane. Ci sono... delle novità? Parla di una sorta di... patto che avevano. Come ha spiegato nella lettera precedente, le condizioni dovrebbero necessitare degli, degli arrangiamenti sto cercando qualche cosa tra i residenti uh -huh. e ha capito il perché la fattoria dovrebbe non essere una punizione uh, Wayland Smith chissà chi sarà abbiamo un'altra controllata lettera Uh, Boy Blue Chi è? Scrive blu, si chiama Boy Blue Bluebeard uh, Gli chiede ancora Di <ride> mandare qualcuno per Riparare l'aria condizionata E parla anche di Pinocchio Ok questo non sembrava inutile, però parlava di Pinocchio, non so cosa c'entri. Te che Mr. Chaud? Uh, you said you'd pay. Allora, in pratica, Toad gli ha rifatto qualche cosa, 
all'interno della camera 204 dell'open arms eh... ah no invece è la camera 204 quindi la, la una delle stanze vicino a quella di Bigby nel, nel condominio dove abita e che Todd gestisce quindi in pratica Did Green ever do any work? in pratica Crane non sta facendo nulla per nessuno dei tre se queste lettere sono ancora qui apriamo il cassetto what do we got? what do we got? bravo c'è un compendio guardiamo, un libro allora c'è una pagina strappata c'è una pagina che è stata un genio Lafkin, do you know what was here? The ring of It's a ring at least. Every magical ring item of... not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Mm. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his uh you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Mm. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin And I'm hung over, I'm sorry. <laughs> He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Stanotte alle 2. What's going on? Is the Eccolo. mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me. I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Ah, well, you telefono. did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried uh, to is it your concern? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, mm. please. Of course he is. Look, Sembra this just frettato. isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. No, Buffkin, stai zitto. AM o PM? AM. <laughs> no. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Okay. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has allora. the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not oh, officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Mm. Questo tuo grande piano, Bluebeard, per la salvezza dello Stato. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And <laughs> that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who okay. it is and where Andiamo they live and get them per all at once. Crane. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. <laughs> it's not an interpretation, it's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, <laughs> she <laughs> have known who the witch was. was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Ecco. It doesn't matter what they know. After Sta tonight, they never go to their office. They're cattene. not smart enough due to try to go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has eh, to be our vabbè, focus. Holly has now. Lily's things. That'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. 
Then I'll pick the blasted lock. I won't waste enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run a mock in Crane's place. He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh, oh, oh. Questo cos'è? Find the witch. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Ok, gente. Questa è una decisione che va presa piuttosto con calma e presa bene, perché dobbiamo valutare. Io andrei da una parte piuttosto che le altre due. E vi spiegherò probabilmente il quale. Ora cerchiamo di fare un riassunto. Bluebeard dice di andare da Tweedle perché sono i sottoposti di un qualcuno che potrebbe sapere dov'è Crane. Di, eh, Snow dice che dovremmo andare al bar di Holly perché potrebbe avere qualche cosa di Lily, sua sorella che è morta, che potrebbe aiutarci. Noi dobbiamo, vogliamo, il nostro personaggio vuole andare addosso a Crane e saltare alla sua gola, probabilmente. Quindi penso se ognuno andasse per la sua strada potrebbe anche non essere male. Però c'è uno dei tre che mi ispira di più, che penso valga più la pena. Detto questo, io vorrei che qualcuno di voi, come è già successo l'altra volta, mi inviasse una scelta, una propria preferenza per mail o per commento, come voi preferiate, per decidere insieme dove vogliamo andare. Eh, do un, un po' di tempo, 3, 4, 5 giorni, e poi dopo sceglieremo in base alle vostre preferenze e alle mie. Detto questo ragazzi, io vi saluto, ciao a tutti, da Dio